Hi everyone and welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm Margie and most of you know James and Eden and this is our cat Aya. We are here today on the second Sunday after Easter and it's time for Children's Chapel. I'm sad that we aren't together at church, but I'm glad that we get to at least join together with songs and stories and prayer today. All right, to begin, I'm gonna light a candle. If you have a candle to light and a grown up to help you light it, this would be the time. This is just a simple candle, just a regular candle, but it reminds me of the light of Christ, the light that shines in the world that the darkness cannot overcome. And it's a good reminder that each of us carries that light within us, and that each of us gets to share that light with the world. Now last week we began with a song that uses a word we didn't get to use at all during Lent. Do you know what that word is? Alleluia. Alleluia. And so the song we sang is called Celtic Alleluia. And if you remember it from last week, you can sing along the first time. If not, you can listen. It goes like this. Here's another chance. Sing it loud. Good singing. I know that there was good singing in my room. Another song that we really like that we haven't sung in a couple weeks is Sanctuary. So let's take a moment and sing Sanctuary. We'll sing it three times together. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. Wonderful singing. Now, our story for today comes from the Gospel of John. So, John 20, verses 19 to 31. You're welcome to look in a Bible if you want. Um, it is also in the bulletin for Sunday, but I'm just going to tell the story. So, on the evening after the resurrection, Jesus came to see his disciples. He gave them peace. He breathed on them and then gave them the Holy Spirit. 
he told them that they had the power to forgive other people. He said, if you forgive them, their sins are forgiven. And if you don't forgive them, they aren't. I wonder how the disciples were feeling before Jesus came in. I wonder what it would be like for Jesus to breathe on me. I wonder if you've ever forgiven someone for something they did to you. I wonder if you've ever had to ask someone to forgive you. Did they forgive you? Now, Thomas, who was also called the twin, wasn't with his friends that night. So he wasn't there when Jesus came. His friends told him about it later, but he said he couldn't believe that. He said he wouldn't believe it unless he saw the marks on Jesus' hand himself and got to touch the wound on his side. I wonder why Thomas wasn't there. Was he out getting groceries? Was he um, running an errand? What was going on? I also wonder why it was hard for Thomas to believe the good news. So one week later, all of the disciples were together, including Thomas, and Jesus came to them again. He spoke peace to them again, and then he spoke directly to Thomas and said, Come on, Thomas, see the holes in my hands, touch the wound in my side. And when Thomas heard this, he said, My Lord and my God. Then Thomas remind, uh, Then Jesus reminded Thomas that it was even better to be able to believe without seeing. I wonder how Thomas felt when he saw Jesus. So that is our gospel story for this week. The most important thing that I want you to take away from this story is that Jesus was not angry with Thomas for not being sure. Jesus didn't scold Thomas. Jesus spoke to Thomas lovingly and offered to let him touch him so that he could believe. We don't have to have perfect faith to follow Jesus. Jesus meets us exactly where we are and loves us and helps us to follow him. That is our Children's Chapel message for this week. But... For the last song that we sang, I thought it would be fun to sing at a time like this because we haven't done that song in a long time. And that is why I asked my friends here to be here so that we can do at a time like this together. This is a silly song, but a good one. And the message is important. Remember the words, at a time like this, at a time, time like this, this, at a time like this, oh, oh, I need the Lord to help me. That's all it is. So, we'll start easy and then get more complicated. Do you have a lap? You need a lap. All right. At a time like this. At a time like this. At a time like this. Oh, I need the Lord to help me. At a time like this. At a time like this, at a time like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. James, do you have one to add? Hmm. 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 Okay, so it's going to be. Hmm. Hmm. At a time like this. Hmm. At a time like this. At a time like this, oh, I need the Lord to help me. Eden, do you have one to add? Um, bula bula. Bula bula. Okay, so. Bula bula. At a time like this. Mm -hmm. Bula bula at a time like this. Mm -hmm. Bula bula at a time like this. Bula oh, I need the Lord to help 
me and one last one. Mm -hmm. Bula, bula, stomp, stomp. All right. At a time like this. Bula, bula, stomp, stomp. At a time like this. Bula, bula, stomp, stomp. At a time like this. Bula. Oh, I need the Lord to help me. I hope that you all have a wonderful week as you get back to homeschooling, to distance learning. Um, and I hope that you all stay healthy and I hope that you find joy this week. Goodbye. Amen. <laughs>